great. Look at this. I've got apples on my apple tree, which is awesome. And little bugs. I'm going to show you what I have to do to this tree because this tree actually is sick. You look up here at this branch, you can see how it is wilted and the blossoms have wilted. So this tree actually has what they call fire blight. Not all the blooms look like that. The blooms that will turn into apples like that won't fold over like that. And the cause is this big canker down here on the bottom. Now, I have a couple options to deal with this. I could spray it with some stuff, which I really don't want to do. I can take the tree out because it will always have this. There's a couple blooms. Those will probably be fine, but these one right here, I've got to get out before they infect the ends of these. Or I can just cut them out and hope for the best. But I'll show you in a little while what we're gonna do. See, this one looks pretty good. This one here is the one that's got that. What you need is some sharp pruning scissors and some alcohol. And what you're gonna do is you wanna spray your shears off with the alcohol, wipe them off, and you're gonna trim back your mood before the blight. As long as you don't see a little dark spot in the middle of your thing, you've got it. Because that'll, there's like a, it'll look like a little dark brown spot in the middle. And as long as you don't have that, then you should have got the blight. And then I'm going to spray that tip. And you want to spray your shears in between because you do not want to spread this just by trimming it. And if you keep doing that, I mean, we're not an orchard. We only got a few apple trees, but for what we got, I can manage this just like this. If this was a full out orchard, they would spray something for fire blight. I think it's an oil. I'm no expert on that, so this is how I maintain the apples that I have. We had to do this last year. This is starts coming on because of the moisture in the air or a lot of rain. So as long as you stay on top of it early, then your the blooms that actually did get apples will produce. Another thing you can do, you can also scrape this canker to get it down, you know, to try to to get rid of it, but it is right at the base of our tree, so it makes it a little hard taking it out without taking out a lot of the stability in the tree. So I just spray it with a little bit of alcohol and hopefully that disinfects what's on the outside since we aren't expecting rain here for a while. That way the bees don't move it around to my other trees. So I put this on my towel so you can see, you can see how there's a canker right there. And pretty much that whole branch I had to take off. And you can see how it's starting to, to wilt down. So I just took it all the way down and I have no black spot in the middle. So I did get this off in time and I sprayed the, where I cut up there on the tree with alcohol. All right, so when you get it all cut off your tree, you want to throw this away. You don't want to put it in your composting bin. Uh, just go ahead and throw it away. If you've got a recycle bin that goes out to the trash, put it in there because you do not want this spreading throughout your other trees. Mainly, it'll spread with at, for, from apples or pe peaches get it, and I think pears get fire blight. But that's how I deal with it as naturally as I can.